So, okay, checking to see if it's on. I brought out my photography camera just to do like a quick look because uh, I don't know how to edit still, so I can't like turn off my camera and then somehow magically get another pic the film on there. Um, so I'm going to do really quick what I do when I'm going out. This is not something that I usually do because I just got this myself. It's the Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner uh, in black. So this, don't do this often. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know to stay as close to the lash line as humanly possible to the last second. To the last second. And then fill in that little area. I'm gonna go into the lash line now. Totally just focus off the eye. Go through the lashes themselves. Just dab myself in the eye again. That's as good as we're gonna get there. Now to try to do the exact same thing on the other eye. Already messed up. Already messed up. I've put eyeliner on myself, like this kind of eyeliner, maybe 10 times in my entire life. Okay. Ah! Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? I also gave myself an extra freckle on my eyebrow. Or on my eyelid. Okay. Let's see if they're even. Oh no. Oh, they're way off. <laughs> How did that make a better line than I just did? Hello, Dot. What do you think you're doing? Oh. I'm giving up on those. It's kind of... <laughs> Not entirely. Oh my god, what have I done? I had such high hopes for this. I don't know how to girl. So I think maybe that should be like my intro title of like, hi! Damn it, I don't have my actual name on this. You know what? Screw it. Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to my journey of how to girl. Part three. <laughs> um... <gasps> Did I do it? Oh, <gasps> I did it, kind of. This one's not as curved, but I'm not doing any more to it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I know that my usual brow stuff won't work for me now. 
and I can still do it on the other eye. And my favorite thing is to put a little bit of vitamin E cream in here, like straight vitamin E cream, like just a teeny tiny little bit, and then move the product around with your brush in it, and then it makes like all those little crappy balls disappear, you know what I'm saying? You just get like creamy stuff on your brush. So I get under here still because it still needs to have a shadow. Oh, I need to get more. No, nope, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna deal with it. If it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. I mean, what am I really expecting? None of this is going to really turn out well. Because I'm still learning. And you know what? We can all learn together. Isn't that the cool part? Like, I watch you learn off of you. You watch me and laugh. <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> I put smile on people's faces and others are just really good at what they do. <laughs> and you know what? If you can't... Okay. If you can't laugh... <laughs> what the heck just happened? Uh, if you can't uh, laugh yourself, then, you know, you just be the, the very sad panda, as they, as they say. <laughs> that was a terrible nod. Oh, that's a strong brow. Yeah, thicken this girl up. Cause her sister is strong. And she is there to her tea. Oh dear. Oh, what are we doing? Oh. I did a bad thing. I read the thing that I did. You know, I've never seen the actual video to that, but I, I heard it in someone else's video as they were very clearly doing something to their hair. And I can't stop saying it now. And no one that I know knows anything about like YouTube or stuff like that, so they don't watch. So they don't know. Ah, God. And now, after I do my pomade, I take another spoolie brush that I have that's clean, and I go into my brown. Like, I don't know what this is. This is, a uh... Here, I'll show you, <laughs> and you tell me. These two here, though, or these three, actually, are all handmade. Like, I pressed those pigments myself from broken things with really old perfume, so now I'm just putting alcohol in my face, which is great. But uh, the brown one is original to the pack. I don't know what it's from. It's probably like Maybelline or something like that. I don't know. Some high school drugstore type stuff. I haven't gone to get makeup in a long time. Actually, that's a lie. I got this and this the other day. This is the, the Colossal Waterproof Maybelline. Uh, it's seven times volume, whatever. And then I got this, which you already know about this. Oh, also my brow gel is Brow Stylist Fame and Set. Or Frame and Set. Jeez, I'm so tired this morning. It's a 215 Deep Brunette, which clearly I'm not a deep brunette anymore, but this is the color. It's not my color. But you know, it works. Sweetie, it works. <sighs> and then I put just powder on top. 
just so I mattify my brows and like separate them. And P.S. I do have a spoolie. I am going to spoolie them, but I don't spoolie with the other spoolie brush. Thing. Oh god. Oh god. I'm still doing bad things. Since this one's colored, I'm not going to put any product in it. I could, because I do have an old school like, rainbow palette that I used to use in high school. I don't think I should use that on my face anymore. Um, I also have this Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Shower Shadow Trio for Hazels. Uh, I got this in like 2015. I like how the white, now that I know what highlighter is, the white kind of looks like highlighter. See that? I put it under my brow. Oh, that's intense. Oh, girl. Oh, we are. This is too much shine for me. <laughs> um, put it under here. Oh, I did it again. And under this brow. You know what? My brows are just gonna shine today. I'm gonna go back in on this one too. Shine, girl, shine. Shine. I have a really pointy nose, so I don't know if, like, I should ever highlight my nose. Because, like, girl, I look like plastic surgery. And it's not. It, it's painful. <laughs> to, like, live with this nose and, like, catch it every time I put my shirt on or take it off. Or, ugh. You know how many times I've smashed my face against a window? Like, just my nose, because I thought my nose was shorter than it was, and I tried to, like, look at the side of the window. You know when you're a kid and you're in the car, and you're, like, trying to look at something, but you don't want to take the window down because it's freezing cold because you live in Canada and, oh my god, snow. The wind hurts my face. Uh, yeah, those moments. And, like, whack! Oh! It exists. So, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go outside my comfort zone, and I also have like a shimmery brown and a shimmery pink. So I'm gonna take this brush, which is usually my lip brush. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. We're, we have to clean these. I'm gonna take a little spongy on the brown, the shimmer brown, and we're gonna we're gonna highlight that through the edge of our eyeball. Like not in the crease, we're gonna highlight the edge of the eyeball and then out over top of that wing. Cause we're being bold today. I'm gonna do it again on the other side. And you know what? We're gonna take some of this shimmery pink because we don't care. Well, we're going to blend it with that highlight thing we did. Because I'm already a rather red person, so I'm not going to put too much. And then now we're going to go in with our Maybelline Colossal Waterproof. The stuff you can cry in! <laughs> Every time I wear makeup, I cry that day. I don't know what it is. It's something inside my genetic makeup where when I'm wearing makeup, I must cry. And we got it all over our cheek, but it's okay. We're not doing anything fancy today. We're just trying to make ourselves feel okay. I rhymed unintentionally and I'm not sorry about it. You know what? Let's go red. You know what? No. Let's put a little bit of um, Annabelle Cool Eyeliner Hypoallergenic uh, one for two, two earth tone. It's a brown. It's this brown. 
I take this right under my lip and I have two lip piercings so I just go right above it and right above it and then mash because the two holes make shadows as is so I feel like if I do this I can make a little triangle and cover over top of them then if there's a shadow there already you don't notice the shadows <laughs> so now I'm also going to take my exaggerated full color lip liner by Rimmel London uh, in 057 Ravish if you didn't understand that, Ravish um, and I put this on the outsides because it's my dark one just kind of like almost connecting with that shadow but not touching it And on the corners of my mouth, I don't follow the line of my actual lip. Like, I, I underline it, like, my top lip especially. Because it's, it's really, like, full on the sides, but I have a small mouth, so it looks really bad to me, at least to me. Um, CoverGirl Lip Perfection 215 Passion. Ooh, made in Germany. Hello to all my Germans. And then I do the rest of the outline in this light color. Oh god, I'm going outside the line so bad. And I kind of overlap a little bit on the darker and then go up to where like that white bit of my lip is because like I don't have a lot of color on the outsides of my lip. I have like a line of pink that is my outline. And then it goes to like my skin color, and then the inside of my lips are a little light or a little darker than like that first bit. You know what I'm saying? Is anybody else like that? Where like you have a very definitive line that's there, but then the inside top and bottom part of your lips are the same color as your skin. Why? I never did concealer as lipstick, by the way, so there's no excuse. I, no excuse for my lips being like this, I meant. There's no correlation between using concealer as lipstick to your lips changing color, by the way. I'm just... I'm really tired. I've been up for a while. Now, we're going to... Where'd she go? Oh, there you are. We're going to take this really, really old, uh... Carapoza, Araposa lipstick. Uh, it's it's like dollar store stuff. I'm just gonna put it on my finger because it's mine, and I can. I just don't like touching it to my lips because I'm a weirdo. Usually I use my lip brush, but it's dirty and I don't want to. I have to clean it. And I take from the outsides and I blend down with that dark lip liner to the other lip liner because this is like a mixture between the both colors. <laughs> Frankie, what do you think you're doing? You're being a bad girl. And then here's the tricky part. Is I put it, okay, I'll show you on like a fresh finger. I put it in a triangle on my finger, like that. This is a trick that I learned when I was a child as how to use makeup the best way. So I would put a little triangle, then a little triangle, and then cover this. Then I'd do my two little tops, and then I'd cover the whole rest of it. And nobody would know because everything would be off of my finger. Then I take the edge and spread it out. And then I do that and 
clean up any of my little mistakes. Uh-oh. And that's... Pretty much, oh yeah, hair. You're probably like, why are you leaving and your hair looks like this? I'm just gonna brush it. Because... We tend to have a nice fluff to our hair. Maybe I'll put a braid in it. I don't know. Who knows? I don't have any little ponytails to put a small braid in. I have a big one, but I don't I don't like using that in my hair very often. I don't use like hair ties or anything like oh by the way, uh this is a uh tangle teaser. It's gross right now. I like it moves. Sorry, that's all my hair. I'm so sorry. And um it's like shaped like this for like ergonomic hand holding and brushing, you know? Ergonomic, what am I talking about? Why am I talking like that to you? <laughs> um, sometimes I like to like spread this out, but like what I've been doing a lot lately is just kinda, you know what? I'll save my braids for a whole separate video because I have a bunch of braids that I do that I have been doing for a long time because I used to have hair all the way down. <laughs> it was very long and then in grade 8 I was like, I don't want to be me anymore. Give me dyke spikes! I, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a bad word. Um, I cut my hair to this short in the back and like had the full long sad swept like bang but like it started here and then went super long and then all the rest was short and I kept dyeing it fire engine red. I have learned through my experiences that fire engine red is the color that girls dye their hair when they're going through some... <sighs> I'm trying not to swear anymore. I learned that I swear a lot in my first two videos so I'm trying not to swear anymore. So it means that they're going through some shiznet. And you know, I was going through some shiznet. I had super long hair all the way down past my butt for so long and then cut it all off because I didn't want to be me anymore. Do you want to know what the real reason was? I wanted to dye just my widow's peak white and be like Rogue from the X-Men. Yes, that Rogue. And my family said no. So I was like, you know what? We're at the salon. I'm allowed to cut my hair. I'm going to cut it all off. Because every single one of you love my hair more than I do. Little did I know it was a security blanket. And, uh, <laughs> so we're good now. It's been many years since then. I've been cutting and dyeing and everything my hair since. I've had mohawks. I've had uh, mullets. I still currently kind of have a mullet, but it's grown out a little more. As you can see, it's... A lot longer than the rest. It was like a good three, four inches longer than the rest until I gave myself a trim the other day. Oh my god. So, yeah, this is, this is it. This is, this is what I've done. Uh, have I got everything on there? Uh, yeah, I don't, this is a lot more than I usually put on. I don't even put lipstick or this stuff on. Like, I do my brows and I do my eyelashes. I just got the new eyeliner, so I've been trying to use that lately. I don't know. I just, I'm sorry. Everyone, confidence is beauty. As long as you're confident, gosh, you're freaking beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, that's a terrible outro. I'm gonna learn how to do outros, by the way. Um, sorry about it. Did I even turn it off? No, of course not. The awkward outro. That's gonna be my new thing. Awkward outros. That's just, that's it. I'm just gonna have the awkward outros. Yes. How?